guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my video, this video, and all of my videos. So, you guys have been asking for tips on how to stay skinny or get skinny as a nurse. I would like to say, first of all, it is hard to stay skinny as a nurse. It is not easy. It takes a lot of planning and a lot of preparation and a lot of mental thought. However, it is possible. So I have a lot of tips. Um, if you do like this video and you do like the tip, and I know you haven't seen it yet, just after the video, let me know. But if you do like this tip and you want to see more tips like this, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm really passionate about this. I really don't particularly care how much I weigh. I don't particularly care if I have love handles or not. My real main focus is how I feel. I see what it's like to be sick every day, and I would rather do everything possible to ensure that I am healthy. And um, like I said, it takes a lot of planning and a lot of preparation, but it is possible. So another tip that I wanted to share with you before I get started, and then I'll get started, I promise, okay, is this. Allow yourself to dream. You are so changeable, everything, that you see on the outside is clay and you can mold it in so many different ways. When I look at myself, I just try to imagine instead of a weight, instead of you know focusing on getting rid of those muffin tops or getting rid of the flab, instead of focusing on that, I focus on the real like vision that I want, you know, like I want um, to walk into a room with a beautiful dress on and you know, have people look at me, something like that. Or for you, it might be walking into a gala, looking absolutely amazing, and your ex is there. And you look so amazing that people are stopping and staring at you. So these visions can be, you know, a little silly, and honestly, the more silly you can make it, the better. But these visions are energy, and energy is what's gonna get you through those hard times when you don't feel like getting up early to making the shake, or the juice, or when you're at the grocery store and you just, don't want to buy the healthy foods. So vision is so important. Let yourself remember that you are clay and you're going to mold yourself into the person that you want to become. And in this video, I'm going to share my morning shake. It's basically a protein shake that I take with me pretty much every single day, especially at work. And usually when I'm home, I drink it as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here are the ingredients that I put into my shake. And this is also the order that I put them in because some of the things float to the bottom and they get stuck in the mixer if you don't add them correctly. So the first thing I do is I use chia seeds. Um, this brand is one brand that I use. I usually just get what's on sale. Um, I try to do organic. I think these are organic, I'm not sure. Anyways, goji berries are the first thing that I use. And then I go to chia seeds. So I use about a tablespoon of goji berries. If I'm really hungry, I might throw a tablespoon and a half in there. And then I use about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of chia seeds. This is the large cup for the Nutribullet. So what I do is take a tablespoon. Maybe it's a little bit more than a tablespoon because it's usually a bit heaping. And I'm really hungry right now, so I'm going for that extra half. I'm like starving. So the chia seeds, we'll do a tablespoon of those. So these are at the bottom of the cup. Then the next thing that I do is I pour in, this is almond milk, so shake it up. You have to shake this one up. This, oh, this and everything I get at Whole Foods. I'll put the name of everything below and if I can find links to things, then I'll try to put the links below too. But what I do is I just pour this in. I know you're gonna ask for a measurement, I don't know. Maybe it's like a cup and a half, I would say. A cup and a half of almond milk. Now this is the unsweetened almond milk. This is, yeah unsweetened and this is the organic almond milk that I get from Whole Foods and then I take coconut water I usually just buy whatever coconut water is on sale and this is honestly just to loosen it up because the almond milk is kind of thick so again you're probably gonna ask for exact measurements and I don't know about like yay no probably about three-fourths of a cup so the next thing that I do is I add protein powder and when you're at work you really need something that's gonna be quite substantial to hold you through those long hours um, it can be really draining and when you're hungry, it's really hard to help other people because you don't feel good. I have learned that if I just have my snacks available, I'm a lot nicer. So this is Vega One. It's just the vanilla um, flavor. So they have a scooper in here. And I'm not really sure. I think that this maybe is for like a, a guy. It just seems like a lot of protein powder to me. 
So I usually take like about half, maybe a little bit less even, and I put that in there. And it seems thick enough and filling enough. So the next thing I do is I take mecha powder. I know that there are a lot of good things that it does. By the way, a little disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist. I might be doing things wrong, and if I am, just let me know. But, you know, just this is what I do, and I feel really good so far. <laughs> Okay, so then I take mecha powder. Do you wanna go pretty light on this stuff? Cause this stuff tastes really bad. One bag like this will last you like forever. So I take maybe a teaspoon. I don't do exact measurements. As you can see, I'm basically still using the same spoon. It does taste really bad, but I notice with one teaspoon, it you can't really notice the taste of it. Then I take cocoa powder and I take about a tablespoon, maybe a heaping tablespoon. This does add a nice little chocolatey flavor to it. And I know that this protein powder was vanilla, but anyways, it, it works. Then I take the acai, I always say this wrong, I'm probably saying it wrong now, acai, 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 I honestly just don't know how to pronounce it, but anyways, I take this, <laughs> and I take about a tablespoon of this. This adds a lot of long lasting energy, not like carbohydrate energy. The last thing I use is the spirulina powder. This is definitely, great powder to use and I take about a heaping teaspoon of that and I put it in there so that you can see what it looks like. This is how it starts. I mean the great thing about the Nutribullets and or the Magic Bullets is that you can just put the cap on, mix it, mix it up and then this is what you get. But then all you have to do is take a cap like this and take it with you, that's it. So I will make one of these every single morning when I wake up. So I usually wake up at 5 a.m. and that's when I'm making it. And then I drink it throughout the day. So what I'll do is I'll make it and then I'll put it in the refrigerator um, while I'm getting ready. And then when I go to work, as soon as I get to work, I also put it in the refrigerator there. And then maybe like around nine or 10, I will drink a little bit just throughout the day. Pretty much stays tasting great like throughout the day. And when I say tasting great, like it kind of depends on what tastes good to you. I personally think it tastes great. And um, I've given other nurses the, the tips as well and they said it tastes really good too. So anyways, I hope you like it. But like I said, if you want to see more diet and energy tips to be skinny as a nurse, then just let me know and I'll post more videos or create new content. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon, bye.